Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. This is video 6 in the WordPress video tutorial series for beginners. Uh, let's take a look at categories and tags. Now once you've created a post or several posts, you can group them together using categories and tags. Um, now categories are a bit like a table of contents in a book. So you should normally only create maybe 8 to 12 different categories and assign your different posts to those different categories. If you're wanting to group your posts together um, more, more highly related uh, posts together, then I suggest you uh, use tags. And tags are like keywords which you can use to uh, to, to group uh, highly related content together within the same category. So let's just take a look at uh, some examples just on my own blog here. If you look at the different categories I've, I've created, I've got about 10 different categories WordPress admin, hosting, WordPress news, WordPress plugins, themes, tips, web design, tutorials, SEO, etc. So there's about 10 different categories there, and I've also got quite a few tags as well. I don't uh, use a tag cl cloud or anything like that, I, but I do I do use uh, tags to group uh, highly related uh, posts together within the same category. So um, let's let's just take a look at our demo site now. Now this is the 2012 2012 default theme for WordPress, and you'll find there's a widget in the sidebar with the different demo categories which this theme comes with. Um, of course you'd want to change them and make them your own. So let's just look at how to create categories and tags. So we'll go into our dashboard, we'll go down to uh, posts, and under the post tab you'll see categories and tags. So let's just have a look at categories first. Let's create a category named uh, WordPress Themes. So just type in the name for the category here. You can also add this as a slug or WordPress or just create a, a, a permalink slug which is exactly the same as that if you don't put anything in there. Um, we won't assign this to any parent. I'll show you how to make um, I'll show you how to make do this a little bit later. You can add a description so you can say um, posts about WordPress themes and add the new category. So that category is now added. It's under WordPress themes. You can quickly uh, quickly edit and make any changes if you need to do that. There's no, a po there's no posts assigned to that category yet. So let's go assign a, a post to it. We'll pick an existing post, how to create a blog post in WordPress. Um, this content's not really related to WordPress themes, so we shouldn't assign it, but just as a, uh, as a, as a sample, an example will do that. So we'll change that from new post to uh, WordPress themes. We can actually keep this post assigned under new post which is another category. Uh, you can assign your post to multiple categories. I don't think it's a good idea. I think you should only assign each post to one category. If you want to assign your post to, to multiple tags, post tags, then that's a different story. You can do that. But as far as categories uh, concern, I'd only assign each post to one category. So we'll update that now and we'll just have a look at the information now. So we'll view the post and we'll find at the end of the post this entry was posted in new post and WordPress theme. So these are the two categories this post has been assigned to and I've tagged it with a tag called same. So that's just an example. Now each of these categories have got what they call category archives. So this category is called new post. Every post that you assign to this category will come under this archive and be listed on this page. And the same for the other uh, category. Every post you assign to the WordPress themes category will be listed in the WordPress themes category archive. And if we have a look on my page um, I'll have a look at the different categories. So we go to the video category. It's probably not a good idea. Let's just go uh, software and tools. So this is the software and tools category. 
on, on my own site and we can see all the posts that have been assigned under this specific category this is the category archives we'll, we'll have a look at another example we'll have a look at the uh, the video tutorials category and uh, I'll put in what they call some introductory content which is a good idea this will help with search engine optimization and if people land on your category archives they know where they are it just gives them a bit of uh, information about exactly where they are you've landed on the archives page for posts containing video tutorials and uh, and then it's got a list of every post that's been assigned to the video category so that's pretty straightforward there um, let's just look at tags now we'll go back to our demo site and we'll go into tags and tags are like keywords that you create to group highly related content together within the same category um, they, the posts don't have to be within the same category they can be from multiple categories and they can contain content which is all related uh, and you can uh, you can group them together using post tags personally I think it's probably better to only group together content which is assigned to one category and use uh, group that together using post tags but that's not what a lot of people do they tend to use a lot of different post tags so you be the judge you can you can make your own decision on there but I think the more relevant the content is the more specific it is the better okay create a tag we basically go to post tags and we just make a name and um, we'll use a keyword here we'll call this uh, posts so this is uh, this is this will assign the different posts posts is probably not a good example we'll, ju we'll just call this uh, demo and we'll assign all the posts that are under the demo that are about demo uh, to this tag here it will automatic WordPress will automatically create a slug Add the, add the new tag so we've got demo here we'll go back to all posts hello world this is an example post we'll quick edit this and uh, we'll assign this to the demo demo tag update and we'll check this out and you can also do it here as well you can use existing tags and uh, what are some of the other tags we've got uh, let's just have a look same so if we type in an existing tag it should come up here normally it will be displayed down here and we click on a link so we've assigned this post to two different uh, tags demo and same uh, we'll update it and that's pretty much it for tags we'll just have a look at the post when we click on um, when we click click on any of these tags we've got an archive of tags so every post that's been assigned this tag will be included in this archive so they're very similar to categories but it's a lot more it's a lot more uh, it's a lot more broader when you're using when you're using tags you can create a, a, a an unlimited amount of tags if you like and, uh, and and group highly related content together using post tags let's just have a look at at, at subcategories you can also create subcategories I, I don't personally do this but you can see in the demo site here they have created subcategories so you could create um, you could have a main category called uh, themes we'll create that and then you could have different types of themes you could have thesis and we'll list, just list the uh, the premium themes parent is themes so thesis is a, is a type of premium theme it's a brand of premium theme and we'll have that as a uh, we'll create that as a uh, a child category and the parent category will be themes so there we go there and we'll create another one we'll call it Genesis 
which is a theme framework which I use. Uh, parent will be themes. And you could go right down there and you could have also uh, Woo themes. And there's three of the main premium theme developers that develop uh, WordPress themes. So maybe we could change that to WordPress themes. And these are the different types, different brands of premium uh, WordPress themes. Genesis, Thesis and Woo themes. So that's not a bad idea, creating, uh, creating child categories. Um, and and, um, and linking them to the parent category. Personally I don't use it, I just use main categories and I use about 10 categories and I probably use about uh, 30 or 40, probably around 40 odd uh, different post tags. So, so this is pretty straightforward. You can uh, you can make changes to your categories. I've written an extensive post on this. Um, we'll just go back to the WordPress video tutorial series. You'll find in this video, video number six for categories and tags, I've, I've placed five links in there and there's five really good posts in there. So if you're wanting to learn more about whether you should index or no index categories and tags in the search engine, you can read about that. Changing, moving and deleting WordPress categories. How to edit, change and fix duplicate categories. Um, here's some post category tips to improve the rank of your your archive pages and that'll include how to create introductory content for your category and your post tag uh, archives which I've shown you before and uh, and it's more information on categories and tags which will which will help you uh, learn the basics of how to uh, use categories and tags in WordPress if you've got any uh, if you've got any questions on categories and tags just just leave a comment down below I'm more than happy to uh, to reply to any comments down there. Uh, the next uh, video we'll take a look at adding links, and links are really important, internal links and external links in WordPress. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Cheers.